Today we're looking at the differences between the Doberman and the Dogo Argentino. Both of these powerful breeds have positive and negative reputations associated with them, either for their previous or current roles in society. Let's take a closer look at how these breeds differ despite their similar appearances. Welcome back to the Doberman Pincher channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Doberman Pincher. Then, how to become high level canine leaders that can raise the perfect Doberman Pincher. So if you're a lifelong Doberman Pincher lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new Doberman Pincher, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Doberman Pincher video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll take a closer look at everything that makes these breeds so similar yet so different. Let's dive right into their history and see what each breed was bred for and how that influenced the canines we know today. The Doberman Pinscher was a working dog originally bred by a German tax collector in 1870, who also managed the town dog pound. It was believed that the herding and cattle dogs are the foundation of the original Doberman breed, and the dog's graceful appearance that we recognise today was refined through the Manchester Terrier and Greyhound additions to the bloodline. There is no relation to the miniature pincer, although they are strikingly similar. The Dogo is a very new breed developed in Argentina in the 1920s by Dr Antonio Norz Martinez as a passion project. The canine was originally considered a fighting dog, since much of its stock was from regional fighting dogs. But Dr Martinez discovered his breed was an avid hunter of large game, when he brought the dog with him on a hunt. They're now used often in hunting wild boar and mountain lions in Argentina thanks to their incredible stamina, powerful build and fearless nature. Many Dobermans exhibit the black and tan markings but also come in several colour variations including black and tan, red and fawn, fawn and even blue. Black and red base coats with tan markings are the most common colours though. Males average 70 to 90 pounds and the females average 50 to 70. Their tails are docked and ears often cropped, though you will find many now without cropped ears. The Doberman is sleek and graceful with a lean body and long legs to match its pointed head and elongated snout. Dogos are easy to recognise with their impressive build and solid white coat that shows off their powerful muscles. They'll sometimes have small black marks that look a lot like smudges, but generally only one or two of these, if any. Generally seen with cropped ears and sometimes docked tails, these muscular canines are incredibly swift and have an amazing endurance. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I just wanted to quickly let you know, if you didn't know already, I have a completely free course on the principles of canine behavior. As a canine behaviorist, I've put this together with my years of experience, skill set, and knowledge to help you understand all the areas of canine behavior that are important for you to become a high level canine leader. And then you can fix your dog's problem behaviors at home or maybe take the first steps into working with dogs with problem behaviors so again if you want to check out that course it's completely free of charge the principles of canine behavior there'll be a link down in the description box below and I can't wait to see you over on that course both of these gorgeous dogs are incredibly intelligent and highly trainable the Doberman which is used for military and police work search and rescue as well as service work both are highly intelligent and generally have high level energy as well, so they need an experienced owner to direct their energy in a positive direction. Because of their high energy level and drive, Dobermans are often used in military and police work today. The Dogo may get there, but the breed was only recognised by the American Kennel Club in 2020 and have been gaining popularity in the last several years. Both can be willful and determined when excited, so they need a calm and consistent leader to keep them on the right track. But the Doberman and Dogo need tons of socialisation throughout their life, but especially in the early years, in lots of different situations to become the perfect canine companion and family dog. They are fiercely loyal to their owners and can develop separation anxiety as a result if they aren't properly conditioned to be alone. They do well with children, but because of their energy level, they should be supervised until the children are older. They're quite affectionate with their favourite person, and they will be glued to their owner's side, often giving them long, adoring stares. Keep in mind that both canines are protective and potentially reactive if, when they feel anyone in their family may be threatened. 
Experienced canine leaders will find excellent guardians and family companions in both the Doberman and the Dogo Argentino. Both dogs will thrive in active homes where they get plenty of exercise and affection each day. Those looking for a top-notch home guardian will love the fierce guardian instincts of the regal Doberman. Families looking for an active canine partner for agility or running will find the Dojo Argentino, an enthusiastic canine, always up for an adventure. Before bringing either breed into your home though, consider your level of leadership and the time you will be able to devote to these loyal breeds. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comments section below. And don't forget if you're new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Doberman Pincher videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Doberman Pincher Show.